What's going on guys and welcome to a new video. My name is Joshua Daniel George and in this video I'm going to show you how you can set up dynamic creative ads for your Facebook campaigns. No, I don't waste no time. What's going on guys and welcome back to a new video. So like I said in the introduction today we're going to be looking at dynamic creative ads. So for those of you that do not know what dynamic creative ads are, uh, basically what it allows you to do is split test different variations of a specific ad campaign. So for example, we can split test five different images, five different headlines, five different uh, variations of the copy all within the one campaign. So gone are the days that we've got like 50 different uh, variations within the ads and like 10 different ad sets, etc. because you can now do it all with dynamic creative ads. For those of you that have been setting up Facebook ads for a while, um, you guys might still remember who, um, Hootsuite software called Ad Espresso, which basically allowed you, it's like a third party software that allows you to, um, you know, basically make all those variations quite quickly. Obviously, Facebook frowns upon third-party software, did not really like it, um, so what they did was they created their own variation of it and then integrated it within the business manager. So you can now do everything without uh, using third-party software, everything within the Facebook uh, you know, business campaign. So without further ado, I'm going to set up a, a mock-up campaign and show you guys how it works. Um, so this entire campaign will be for educational purposes only. We won't, won't actually set up an ad um today okay so um obviously it's great for uh shopify it's great for if you've got e-commerce an e-commerce store dropshipping store or if you're just actually setting up ads for your clients uh, you can obviously use this to you know split test a lot of variations so let's say for example we have a gym as a client or actually no let's say we've got a personal trainer okay we've got a personal trainer who is our client and he wants leads um or shall we actually no we let's 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 do it different let's say we are a agency that wants to find personal trainers okay so we're setting up ads for ourselves so we are targeting personal trainers and we want to help them set up lead generation ads i think that'll be a good um good little challenge for today so uh, obviously for that we will need to set up the ad in the business manager if you haven't got a business um, manager just yet just go to business.facebook.com if you haven't got the business manager a blue screen will pop up and you can create it all you need to do is fill out your details add an ad account to it then you know add a payment method either a credit card or paypal and then from there you'll basically get the same screen as what i have got now then you can click on the green create button here or if you haven't set up any ads at all you can also click on create ad here this is a demo ad account uh, hence why there's no ads available so as you can see uh, we need to start with our objective more often than not i start off with traffic uh, to get basically literally it, it's what it says it does you know it it gets traffic onto the website and um, you know there is obviously the debate whether conversion ads are better than traffic ads um like i said it's still up for debate i usually just go for traffic start off with traffic um and then optimize it for landing page views so um let's say we are focused on the uk personal trainers um yeah that's it actually uk pt and then we can we can say something like maybe lead, lead gen okay we can do uh campaign budget optimization where you basically let facebook decide which ad set gets the most budget so let's say for example we are focused on personal trainers um you know female personal trainers male personal trainers uh, young personal trainers all personal trainers and we have all different variations of ad sets we can then turn on campaign budget optimization also known as cbo and then facebook will basically allocate 80 percent of the budget to that winning audience so if we switch this on as you can see we'll have to uh, set up a daily budget of 100 and then if we do that and we have five ad sets then 80 uh, percent of that budget will go to one ad set okay for today we'll switch this off and then set up the ad account because it's a new ad account um so this if you this is something that you need to do once and then from there you don't have to do it again ad set name uk 18 plus um pt dynamic creative see this is where we switch it on okay so 
as you can see, provides individual assets such as images and headlines and automatically generates optimized creative combinations for your audience. So we'll switch that on. How to create ads using Dynamic Creative. You can now upload individual assets such as images and headlines and automatically generate combinations. Some settings such as send to messenger are not yet available for ads using Dynamic Creative. Those settings will be disabled, okay? So it's only the simple variation of the ads, you know, the, the normal ads with the, the one headline, the one image and the one, um, you know, copy. Basically, we can now create variations of those. So continue. And then here's where we create our audience. So uh, we don't have a custom audience yet. Uh, we'll click on remove the Netherlands and add the United Kingdom. There we go. Okay. And then between the ages of 18 65, that's fine. Um, maybe personal trainers are not 65, maybe a bit younger. Maybe do, um, let's do 50. All genders, uh, that's fine as well. We've also got, you know, both male and female personal trainers. And then edit. So what we can now do is try and find personal trainers. So personal trainer, and they're not interest. We actually want the um, like the actual job if it exists. Browse uh, demographics, uh, work, job title, trainer. Let's see what comes up. Okay, my entire business manager just refreshed. I have no idea why. Uh, let's go back, see if we can still get it back. No, okay, then we're just gonna have to start again. My apologies for that, guys. No idea what happened. Um, set up ad account, yes. Uh, uh, like I said, guys, my apologies for that. Uh, for some reason, it refreshed. UK 18 plus um, PT. Then from here, uh, location. United Kingdom and then we are back to where we were 18 to 50 all genders and then detailed target them um, let's see what can we do personal trainer okay so there's no actual um, personal trainer like job title what if you just do fitness coach? Uh, health and fitness coach, job title. Fewer than a thousand people. Okay, so what else can we do? Suggestions, wellness coach. Um, personal coach, certified personal trainer. Um, let's see what else. Personal trainer and fitness. I guess we're just gonna have to stack all these um, fitness specialist, fitness instructor, fitness consultant, fitness director. Come on, where are like the big audiences? Life coach. Ah, eh, why not? Fitness professional, strength training speaker, coach, men's fitness. Um, see what I, what I want to do is prevent that we get like people that are just very very passionate about fitness. Certified personal trainer. Three point six mil. Life skills coach. See we could potentially do personal trainer, but we'll probably get people that are looking for a personal trainer rather than actual personal trainers. I didn't actually expect this to be this difficult. I just thought I'll just do something different than the, the regular, um, you know, like the fitness type um, campaigns. Um, okay, we'll add this one and then we'll call it a day. 3.6 million. Uh, like I said, I don't usually recommend stacking this many interests um, in one go, but for now it's okay. Um, Let's see which actually got us the biggest audience. Okay, live coach and personal coach. Okay, so um, manual placements. Always do manual placements, guys. Don't let Facebook take your money. Um, I always start off at mobile. Mobile traffic is uh, often cheaper. Let's see that. 
okay, that severely um, limits the audience. 3.6, switch off messenger, 3.6. Is it Instagram that? Yeah, okay, so we need to keep on Instagram, unfortunately. Switch all this off. And then switch off stories. Still 3.6. Just leave the news feeds there we go okay optimization for ad delivery for landing page views daily budget 20 that's fine any more options no that's all okay so continue like i said we've switched on the dynamic creative and now we can start creating our ads so identity obviously we all need like an actual page um for this so we can just choose the brand paneer page for this there we go and then the instagram account is connected as well and then we need to start finding images. Um, let me just get up a couple of images for you guys. And what we'll do is we'll edit them in Canva real quick. Shouldn't take too long because obviously uh, this whole video is for educational purposes. Um, let's see what happens if we type in personal trainer. Images. Um... Preferably one with a client or a happy looking personal trainer. Okay, let's just save some of these images. That should be enough okay open canva and then click on instagram post we'll upload those images now upload upload desktop there we go select all boom boom and i'll show you guys a little secret in terms of the uh, creatives as well which is called a pattern interrupt or scroll stopper, if you will. Uh, and basically what this does is it improves the click-through rate on the ads and uh, in turn will also lower your CPC because of the amount of clicks that you're getting. Um, so basically what we want to do is we want to basically prevent people from basically from scrolling on without actually taking any notice to our ads. So you want people to stop scrolling, stop in their tracks, stop what they're doing, stop mindlessly just like you know going through Facebook and actually pay attention to the ads that we are creating. And there's three ways to do that. The first way is by adding a circle in a place where um, you won't usually look. So let me just go to shapes. There we go. Give it a hideous yellow color. The higher the contrast, um, with the rest of the image the better so the first thing you see when you look at this image is obviously the guy's face uh for those who are interested in fitness or maybe look at his bicep look at his uh his pen and paper but other than that we don't really do much okay so if we add a circle to for example this here which is a random part of the image people will stop scrolling and try and figure out why this circle is here and the order in which you look at the ads is creative first copy second headline third so uh they'll stop stop scrolling figure trying to figure out what they're trying to see here they can't see it so they look at the the basically the copy to see you know if that gives a indication of what it's all about and then you'll realize that it's not about that uh, circle does you know it's actually got a call to action to find out more about um you know you know earning money with personal training okay so that is one way of going about it another way if you do not want to have like a spammy circle is you can add a border which again is high in contrast with the rest of the image so this image as has a lot of blue so what we can do is we can have fire and red or we can have that yellow border again okay now if you don't think this looks nice you can make, obviously make it a little bit smaller um but like like i said guys this will really really increase the click through rate on your ads okay so i'll just add onto this one as well and this one um like i said the circle the border 
or thirdly what you can also do um, which is um, very popular in the affiliate marketing industry is an arrow and then again green red or yellow doesn't really matter don't use all three scroll stoppers in one image so it's either the border either the circle or the arrow and uh, not all three at once and then what we can do is let's say okay so the first thing we look at is this female's face why because she's looking directly at the camera so that's the first thing you are drawn to secondly you'll probably check out this fella's face and then like that is basically you know then from there there's not really much interest in the image apart from the fact that she's um you know basically you know working out so what we can do is we could point this arrow at the rope at the back here um just to get try and figure out what to get people to try and figure out what's going on or what we can do is add it to this guy's hand just to get people to try and figure out what is going on okay so um i'll remove that for now because we've already got the ball there but that is basically like just my uh few little quick tips on um increasing that click through rate on your facebook ad campaigns so i'll just quickly save these and then we can move on or move back to our actual campaign add media add image upload um actually we might need to unzip these files first can we do that here no okay we'll need to show and find it there we go and we're back upload downloads untitled design open waiting for them to load so now we've got four variations of the image as you can see we can select all four at once so continue so we've now got our four images so we've got four variations okay so now we can add our text okay so we, what we can now do is add different hooks to get people in uh, with a hook i mean like a different angle to which you're trying to target this audience so the first one is obviously um what should we say we can say something like are you always a uh, question's always good so are you a personal trainer um trying to figure out how to get um how to get was it personal training clients is that how you say it how to actually let's just how to get more clients and then what we'll do is we add a pleasure which is this get more clients and then we'll add a pain as well so without um without what can we say what are like pains for personal trainers i think spending time behind the computer is one i think a lot of personal trainers like to just be like out and you know like actively uh, um, you know in the gym and stuff so that is one angle we can do so get more clients without spending all your time behind a laptop that is one and then we can say click click below to schedule a free consultation call something like that okay and then um why is our dynamic creative not switched on let me just quickly go back guys dynamic creative was not switched on continue apologies for that back here so single image and there we go so we can add more images let me just select all these again continue and then as you can see we can add another option now with our primary text so what we can do is we can copy this add another option paste the text and then we get a, a mention that we can't use unique primary text for each field that's that makes sense to be fair um why would you split test the same variation so now we've got one hook which is the laptop and then what we can do with this one is um without spending all your hard and cash on um non-performing ads okay so like the perspective of like they're trying to set up the ads themselves and it's not working okay non-performing ads and then the last option 
Um, are you a personal trainer? Or we can say, are you a coach, maybe? Are you a... Actually, no, let, let's stick to personal trainers. Are you a personal trainer trying to figure out how to get more clients without... Um, without paying your gym? Um, high referral commissions maybe i'm not sure if that's the right way to say it but basically you know um what a lot of personal trainers do is they advertise in the gym where they you know basically give out the personal training sessions and then um the the gym itself will get commissioned for every uh, member that they refer onto that personal trainer so i think that might be a good angle as well so now we've got three different types of hooks right we've got the money hook we've got uh well, to be fair we've got two money hooks We've got the and we've got a time walk. So we've got the ads, so the the, the pressure and the uh, the irritation of trying to trying to set up campaigns yourself without the knowledge. So it's more of a knowledge hook maybe. Um, and then we've got the the money hook for the commissions, and then we've also got the time hook because you don't want to spend time behind the laptop. Okay, so now we've got three headlines and four different images, which means that we've already got twelve variations that Facebook can now choose from. Okay, and um, one thing I do. I have noticed is that we've got all of these placements set up so uh, that is something that we you do need to consistently check because facebook is like very very um like crafty with stuff like this like as soon as you refresh something they will just automatically add all of the placements back which is something that we do want to prevent um there we go boom boom and then back to our text and links Okay, so now we've only just got the mobile news feed and the desktop news feed, Facebook and Instagram. Okay, and obviously Instagram is only the mobile news feed anyway. Okay, view more variations. Uh, please select a link for your ad. Okay, um, we just picked the first link personaltrainers.nl. That's fine. Um, so, copy link address. Save the website URL. A few more variations. See what they look like. So we've got image and text, and then basically you can now see what they look like, um, like on, for example, the mobile news feed. Okay, so there we go. So that is image free with uh, text variation number one. And like I said, guys, now we've got twelve variations, and Facebook will now decide which combination and which variation. Um, is the best performing and then from there in the business manager you can switch off the lesser performing ads and continue with the best performing one so we can now split test a lot of different things without you know setting up like 50 different ad sets and 50 different ads because facebook will now do everything all in the one campaign okay so i hope you got some out of this hope you enjoyed this video hope you enjoyed like my little uh, tips and tricks in terms of the the pattern interrupt etc and the hooks uh, for the primary text and uh, one thing i do want to mention in terms of all these variations this only works or basically Facebook say that it works best if each variation gets at least 500 impressions. So just take that into consideration when you're setting up the ads that you do need adequate budget if you're going to split test like 100 different variations. Okay, so hope you enjoyed this. Hope you got some out of it. If you want to know how to basically you know use Facebook ads uh, to start your own social media business where you set up these ads for your own clients, um, I have a coaching program where I teach you everything that you need to know on how to start and scale your own social media business. It will be linked in the description box down below. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.